Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make advanced flashes. If you want to see a preview of the outcome, uh, check out the link on the screen right now. And yeah, it will also be in the description. Um, in that video, uh, there's also a download link for the color correction used in this video. So if you like that, then yeah, also check that out. The link is in the description. So yeah. Um, so let's get started. I'll just delete all the effects except for the color correction and the song and the clip. So yeah. Um, on the clip I already added some effects like scale and um, blur. In my other episodes of Syncing Effects you will s um, I explained that. So this the color correction, let's just disable that. Um, yeah, if you want to know how to make nice, like they really are important for the outcome. Without the scaling uh, it would look pretty, yeah, not that good. So yeah. Check out that tutorial. The link is in the description. Um, okay, let's get, start, uh, get started. Um, first of all, you create a new adjustment layer and add the curves adjustment, uh, curves adjustment onto that layer. So then you rename that into red and duplicate it two more, t uh, two times, so that you have three layers in total. Then you rename the second one into green and the third one into blue to keep everything organized. So then you select the red layer, go to channels, change it to red and drag that up. So um, yeah, then you go to the ellipse tool, that's the masking tool. If you don't have that, just hold your mouse onto that and yeah, then you can select it and make a simple selection just like that. Um, yeah, but now there are these sharp edges. So if you don't want that, you just press F and pr um, change the mask feather to 150 or something, whatever you want. And that should be it. Then you go to the green layer, change the channel to green, drag that up, go to the ellipse tool, make a selection somewhere else, it doesn't have to be there. Uh, then you have to feather it again, so press F, 150, and on the blue thing you do it just the same, but now with the blue and you make the selection somewhere else. Okay, feather. Okay, that's it. <coughs> so, um, that's... Yeah, now we want to go there and add some more stuff for to make everything a bit brighter and more flashy. You could use... Uh, can use exposure for that, but you could also use um, levels or anything else. So just drag that onto the layer, turn up the exposure to 1, or maybe even more, maybe less. It's personal preference. You could change also change these values, just like that. But we'll stay with that for now. Uh, copy that. Control C. Go to green. Control V, and also paste it there. So now you want to find the uh, spot where he shoots, like the frame. Okay, that's probably there. And select the three layers and. Uh, drag them in. Press shift so that it snaps right there. And that's it. Um, okay, now um, you press T for opacity while you have selected these three layers. Uh, keyframe, uh, press on the, on the stopwatch to keyframe them. Drag it down to zero and then go forward like five frames and bring it up to 100. Okay, now you, uh, uh, yeah, then to you have the flash coming in. Then you want to make it fade out a few seconds after, like there. So select them again and bring it down to zero. Okay, that looks pretty plain, like not everything. It lo doesn't look that good. It's, it's like not that random and stuff. So you ju g just go there, select one of the layers, and pre all click onto opacity. Um, now we are using an expression. I will put the this expression into the description so that you can just copy that, but I will also explain it now. So you type in wiggle open bracket and then uh, the first number you're going to type is the how often it changes its value per second. So you want it to change three times per second and then comma um, and then 50 or like whatever you want. So now um, if you type 50 and close bracket it will change three times per second. Um, it will change its opacity um, yeah 50 per like the amount of 50. 
Um, so then you just go there, copy that, or click on that opacity, paste it, and you do the same thing again on all those three layers. Now it's all a bit more random, like all these, they are all like flashing. Uh, you could also go there and maybe drag up the uh, wiggle amount to maybe 70 or something there, or maybe 60 there. And maybe there you change the how often it wiggles, like they want it seven times per second. So it's all personal preference. Um, you could also go there and on the green one, if you don't want like that green, you could go there and drag up the red so that's a bit more orange, or maybe go to blue so that's more green, bl bluish, whatever you want. Um, Okay, that's basically it for the uh, main effect, but it doesn't look that good. So now Magic Bullet Looks comes. Yeah, now we are going to use Magic Bullet Looks. Um, so create a new adjustment layer, rename it to Looks, and go to Effects and Presets, and add the Looks effect onto that. Go to Edit. Okay, now we can add all kinds of effects. I would prefer uh, go to Lens, and then add a Vignette drag that up so that it's a bit uh, bigger and turn the strength up. Then you can go there, uh, put gradient exposure uh, uh, there, turn it up a bit, maybe one, maybe two, whatever you want to. And yeah, then you can add effects like diffusion, like everything pretty much. Um, let's just add some diffusion here. You could change the color to maybe blue, maybe orangish or whatever you want. Uh, I would prefer blue here. So it can also drag up the size of it and the highlights only. I would definitely, yeah, maybe like that. By the way, I'm not. I'm just dragging it around till it looks good. So there are no specific effects because it looks different on every clip. And yeah, so that's it. Then let's go to lens again and add an amorphic flare. Um, that's, that's a bit too much. So I just added that. Okay, maybe like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You could also maybe go there and add um, this effect for some like RGB splint. I don't know how that looks. Let's just add it. Okay, okay. So that's basically it. Now we want to find the spot where it shoots again. That should be right here. And then you go to. Um, okay, then you um, press T again. Keyframe that, bring that to zero, go forward a few frames again, and bring it up to 100. Then go forward a few seconds of frames and bring it back to zero. So um, now you could all, um, paste the same expression again, but if you do that, um, yeah, then we'll like do more random stuff, but you don't need that on this actually. But if you do it, um, you should also make this layer um, just start here because otherwise the opacity might go up before the sh um, shot is. So you see there's the opacity at 20 and you don't want the flash before you even shoot so yeah but I want to use this expression here so that's basically if the effect um, you can add all kinds of other effects in Magic Bullet or you cannot add other effects onto these layers maybe Break all that stuff more up. Maybe change the overlay mode or something. Like, I don't know, that should be stu shouldn't be that good. But yeah, that's it basically. Um, check out the other episodes of Thinking Effects and also make your own color corrections. The links will be in the description and on the screen right now. Um, and please don't forget to like the video. Um, I used to get like 300, 400 likes on every tutorial, and now I just get like 100, 200. But yeah, that's okay. But would be nice to get some more likes again. So that's it guys, um, write your other requests in the um, comments and I might make a tutorial on it. And yeah, stay tuned for the next tutorials and videos. That's it, like the video and bye.